Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latiosazuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby Unlock. Here we are in Lily Cove City as we continue our legendary Pokemon search in this here post game, after game, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to call it the legendary Pokemon search. That said, today we're going to go after some more legendary Pokemon. So, I would like to be able to organize when we go after each legendary so it would be kind of cohesive. Like, I would like to be able to go after each member of a particular trio at the same time, on the same day, so it would be more consistent. But because of the way Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are when it comes to the... when it comes to, on well, legendary Pokemon Mirage spots, they're only accessible during certain times and certain days. So... Today, let's go soaring for- looking for a place that may just contain a Pokémon that we can try catching. So, let's go look for a place, shall we? I see a Mirage Spot right here. So this is the Pathless Plain. Let's see what we can find here in the Pathless Plain. I'm sure there's gonna be some legendary Pokémon or something's gotta be here, I don't know. So, here we are at the Pathless Plain. Feel a quiet gaze testing you. Alright. So, also we got mail. Interesting. Passed by 22 people, latest news to your base's Mirage spot. Good to know. So, who do we want to lead off with? I think I actually want to lead up with Metagross, who can go for a, uh, well, a holdback, so it won't KO whatever it happens to be. Unless, of course, it happens to be Cobalion, in which case, well, that's, I mean, not much I can really do about that. So. No, I can't trade right now. We're in the middle of an unlock! So, let's go for a Capture Power. Let's do level 2 Capture Power. This way, we have a better chance of catching this thing. Let's go. Mysterious rain is floating in the air. Something is visible deep in the hole. Let's put our hand deep in the hole? Sure. So with that, here we go. Verizon appeared, and we just got an HP restoring O power, but it's not really going to help us too much since we don't have any missing HP. That said, let's mega evolve and hold back on this thing. I would like to get this thing down to a lot, well, losing a lot of hit points, just not the point to KO it. So that's why I'm gonna Mega Evolve here. Let's see what we can do to this thing. That did not as much as I wanted it to do. Hmm. Alright. Okay, well, let's, let, let's hold back again. I guess the HP power just worked now. Whatever. Oh, right. Now Verizon is starting to set up some sword stances. That's not very good. It's not going to affect its Giga Drain at all. Also, since it is Giga Drain, that Sacred Sword is going to hurt. But the Giga Drain won't be, as pro won't be that big of a problem. Because we do resist it, and it is only at plus two physical attack. That said, let's go for a... Let's try a Nest Ball. Power scheme, semi matches ish, almost. And it's 1 HP, but that thing is a plus 2 attack. It does not want to tell you. It's going to hurt very little, especially because nothing fainted. Let's keep this up. I mean, there's really not much we can do other than just throw balls at this thing until we get to the point where we can start throwing timer balls. For now, this is not helping. Sacred Sword. I think I have to heal up Metagross now. Too bad the O power couldn't kick in now. That said, let's... I'm gonna go for the Hyper Potion. I don't really need to use the Hyper Potion, but since we don't have any Moo Moo Milk, I mean, Lemony would only do like half of what we need. So... I didn't feel like using a Lemonade. Alright. Let's go for an Ultra Ball, because I really don't know what else to do. 
I mean, we have the, the level 2 capture power up. We have that Verizon at 1 HP. I really hope that Sacred Sword does not crit. If it does, we're in trouble. Seriously. Alright, just stay in the ball, please, Verizon. Come on, come on. Stay in the Ultra Ball, please! And with that, we have obtained Verizon! Alright, nice job, Matagross. So with that, Verizon's data is added to the Pokedex. The Grassland Pokemon. Its head sprouts horns as sharp as blades using wind, whirlwind-like movements. It confounds and swiftly cuts opponents. So, let's give a nickname to Verizon. How about... Um... I don't know, uh... Vertilop. So Vertilop the Verizon is gonna go to the PC. So Vertilop is in box one, I guess. Capture power, we're off. That's, that's okay for now. That said, let's move on to... Let's go somewhere else. We have other legendary Pokémon to search for. And we have some time, I guess, to do it. So, where to go? Where to go? You know what? Let's go to... I think we need to actually take... Um, we're gonna need, I think, rain for this. And I know there's another one that we can we need, there's there's another one we can get, but we're gonna need rain for it. So let's go get rain. First, I want to heal up though. Healing up does sound like a relatively decent idea because I prefer Metagross not have a problem. Problems do happen, it, uh, but I'd rather not take any chances. So. For now, I'm going to temporarily put Gallade in the PC, so I can take out Rain. So, and Rain has a nice hardy nature, that's that's not bad. Not too bad, you have a bashful nature, you have a docile nature, that Smokeball can help with running. Wow, and you have Memento, I'm really glad we caught you easily. Alright, so I feel like Gallade's always getting the short end of the stick of being, well, boxed. I really do feel bad about that. That said, let's move on to a wild Pokemon, I guess, or legendary Pokemon. It'd be really cool if we could get a shiny one, but whatever. That's probably not gonna happen. At least not very likely. So I think there's gotta be a... Oh, here we are. Trackless Forest. Yeah, right near, right near Petalburg Woods is the Trackless Forest. In order to access there, you do need to have Ho-Oh or Lugia in your team, so in our case, we have Rain. That's it, so we're gonna probably need Rain a few times over the next, uh, I guess, legendary Pokémon. Feel an intense gaze, almost electrifying our body. Interesting. What could be so electrifying? Well, you know what? I think I am going to want to use Metagross. Especially because I can't paralyze with Pika, it's electrifying. And... Alright. Hopefully we have enough balls. That said, let's go for a capture power. Level 2, use. Alright. So we use level 2 capture power. Let's do this. Mysterious rain is floating in the air, something is visible deep in the hole. Let's put our hand in the hole. And with that, Raikou appeared! So... Alright. So we're looking up with Metagross here. Um, I think the best bet here is to actually Mega Evolve and hold back. I don't want to- I don't want to KO the Raikou. I can tell you that much. And this is like the Raikou anti Suicune music. It sounds like the Game Boy music. Not the DS one. 
So interesting. All right, Raikou is actually going to be smart and set up a reflect. So we're going to be doing marginally less damage. I'm still afraid of being able to crit or whatever, so I'm not going to go for a stab move. Just to be on the safe side. Because it can only set up one reflect at a time. Also, just in case the reflect ball ever... Well, not gonna. it's not going to last too long. Oh, that thing has crunch! Okay, that's not good. Don't get the D drop. Of course you're going to get the defense drop. Alright, 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 alright. It's fine, you still can't KO us. Plus, Crunch isn't stabbed to begin with. Thunder Fang is stabbed, but it's not super effective. You didn't get the para, so we're okay there. Let's go for an Ultra Ball. That thing is at 1 HP. We have the level, level 2 capture power up. Come on, Raikou. Stay in the ball, please. Stay in the ball, please. Come on, 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 come on. Ugh! So close. Alright. So that spark is actually gonna kind of hurt a little bit. Reflect we're off. I'm gonna go for one- I'm gonna actually wait until we're down to, I think, a- Until we're down to the point where a Hyper Potion will do enough to fully heal up, I'm gonna wait. Then I'll use a Hyper Potion. But for now, I'm just gonna let Metagross take these hits. Alright, that's a crit. And the para! That doesn't really change anything. It really doesn't change much. I can use a full restore, but we don't really need Metagross to be... Well, not have status. The status isn't really that big of an issue. The minus one defense is kind of the issue. And what I could do is actually just go into Muddy. You know what, I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to switch into Muddy at this point, because... Muddy can't be hit by an electric move. Only Crunch can hit, but Crunch isn't super effective on Muddy, so... You can reflect all you want, it's not going to make a difference, because we're not going to attack you anyway, Raikou. So... No, I don't want a Hyper Potion. I want to go for a, uh... Let's go for an Ultra Ball, because... Ultra Ball is probably our best bet for the time being. Eventually, Timer Balls will be our best bet. But I'm not going to rush for that. So, there's really not too much Raikou can do to Muddy. So we're probably on the somewhat safe side. Crunch is going to hurt a little bit, but it's not stab, so it's not really going to make a difference. But we're immune to its stab to begin with. So, whatever. Alright, come on, Raikou. Stay in the ball, please. Please stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Please, 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 please stay in the Ultra Ball. Come on. Alright, you're gonna break out of that Ultra Ball. That is okay, then. You're just gonna keep on going for Reflect. That's... that's interesting. So, all we can do is keep going for Ultra Balls. Now, the big problem with... with bringing the Pokémon down to 1 HP is if they run out of power points and they struggle, one struggle will kill them. So, that's kind of a problem, to be honest. I'm gonna try a Nest Ball. It's not gonna work, most likely, but hey, you never really do know. But Ultra Balls don't seem to be doing the trick right now. Alright, come on, Raikou. Can you stay in the ball, please? No, you're not gonna stay in the ball. Okay. You are gonna finally go for a Crunch on Muddy. It's gonna hurt. I bet you get the special... Um, you get the physical defense drop. No, you don't get the defense drop, but... That really doesn't make too big a difference, to be honest. So we're gonna go for a Timer Ball now. I'm pretty sure it's been 10 turns. If it hasn't been, it's been close. This isn't going to work anyway. So, whatever. Let's just keep this up. I would like to be able to catch this thing. We do have the level 2 capture power up. Though, it doesn't seem to be helping too much. Unless it is helping, in which case... I don't really want to know what would be the case if it wasn't working. But with that, we are going to catch Raikou in the second timer ball. Which is kind of nice. So, nice job, Muddy. Nice job. Alright. So with that, Pika grew to level 62, and Raikou's at data is added to the Pokedex. So, the Thunder Pokemon. Raikou embodies the speed of lightning. The roars of this Pokemon send shockwaves shuddering through the air and shake the ground as if lightning bolts had come crashing down. All right, let's give you a nickname, shouldn't we? All right, I'm gonna name you... Ryan the Raikou. Because why not? Alright, so, Ryan is gonna go to box one, and with that, the capture power, I guarantee, wore off. So, how are we doing with capture power? Well, with O power. Are we out of... Uh, we, we only have three, so we can use, I think, a capture power level one. 
We can use a level... No, we can't use a level one yet. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit before we can use another capture power. But for now, I think we can just go put Rain back in the PC. I think. So, whatever. Let's go do that, and then we can buy more balls. So let's head... Fowerbur we can get, I believe, uh... You know what, I think we can get Dust Balls here, to be honest. So, let's go to Fowerbur Town. It's pretty close to where we were anyway. So. So with that, we have Verizian and we have Raikou. So, that's kind of cool. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. That said, let's head... Did we just get an O Power from someone? Is it Capture Power? Oh, we have a Capture Power level 1. You know what, while it's up... I'm going to go ahead somewhere else, even with Rain and her team. Since someone was very kind enough to send us a capture power, which is extremely useful, and hopefully we can make some use out of it. So where can we go? Um, let's see. Here is... The Nameless Cavern. Well... Um... I see no one ever thought to give it a name, but let's check it out. Maybe there's a legendary Pokemon here. Who knows? Since we have the O power up, clear air surrounds the area. It's lifting your spirits. Okay, so apparently we have high spirits now. That said, I do want to actually heal up Metagross before we start this. Hopefully I have enough time. We do have a paralyzed heal. And I want to go for, I guess, fresh water. It's close enough to full health. How long do we have until the O power wears off? Yep, a oh, minute 50. Okay, good, we have time. Alright, let's do this. The mysterious ring is floating in the air. Would you like to put her hand in the hole? Okay, sure, we'll put her hand in the hole. And with that, let's see what appears. And it is Mesprit! Alright, so. Mesmerit appeared. We're going to be leading off with Metagross. Let's do this. Let's go Mega Evolve and hold back. Let's do that. Hold back is the safest option, I think. Just like False Swipe. And I think we could have actually just gone for a... Alright, now we can't crit. Which, I mean, I think we could have actually just gone for an Iron Head at that point. But you know what? I'm not going to take any chances. Because, actually, Iron Head might have taken that out the Mesprit. I don't know. But Mesprit can't do too much to us, so I think we can just keep this up with the whole back. And since we do have the capture power up that someone was kind enough to give us, we can just do this. So let's go for it. We're actually inside. I can go for a Dust Ball. So let's do that. Didn't quite have the chance to buy Dust Balls. But clearly they're not helping us anyway. Charm is actually going to affect us, but it's not going to make too big a difference. If we didn't Mega Evolve, Clear Body would have probably prevent Charm from working, I think. But in this particular case, it doesn't. But that's okay, because we're not going to attack it anyway. Alright, come on, Mesprit. Stay in the Dust Ball, please. Clearly Mesprit doesn't want to stay in the ball. Now, I consider going into Pika just to go for a T-Wave on that thing, but I'm a little bit concerned about doing that kind of thing. So let's go for an Ultra Ball. Clearly, Dust Balls are not helping. Right, can you stay in the Ultra Ball, please, Mesprit? No, you're not. Okay. Is Capture Power even working? I mean, come on, it's at 1 HP, and we have the Capture Power up. Y you've got to be kidding me. I I've caught things with Pokeballs with no Capture Power at even up. I... I don't know. Whatever. Mesprit, please stay in the ball. Come on. Come on. All right, Mesprit doesn't want to stay in the ball. That is... That's clearly a thing. So we're gonna get hit by the future site. It's gonna hurt a little bit. Not too much at all. We are gonna resist it, of course. So... Let's go for... Let's try a nest ball because I really don't know what to do. All right, come on, Mesprit, stay in the ball, please. Please stay in the ball. Nope, Mesprit's gonna break out of the ball. I think we should actually go and peek and T-wave it. I really think we should at this point. 
I'm gonna try Timer Ball. I don't think it's been 10 turns, but I really don't know. I have not been counting. So come on, stay in the ball, please. Stay in the Timer Ball, please. Please stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Oh, so close. I'm just afraid if I go into Pika, it'll be the one turn to go for an extra sensory. I think Pika should be able to live in a single extra sensory, though. Question is, can you live two? Pika can't live one extra. Well, can't. One extra sensory shouldn't go come. So let's T wave. I don't think Future Slate will hit this turn. Oh, it is gonna hurt. But we are gonna live that, though. If it crit, if it crit it, we would have been in trouble. But we're gonna live that, so I'm gonna go back into Metagross. So. I clearly miscalculated the amount of turns the Future Sight would last, what would go for, but at the very least, we do have that thing paralyzed now. So A, it should have lasted more turns, because turns it's fully parried, it doesn't use a move and doesn't wait, lose power points, thus less turns before it struggles. That said, or should I say more turns before it struggles. However, we do have that thing paralyzed at 1 HP. Come on, Mespert, stay in the timer ball, please. Come on. Come on. Stay in the ball, please. Please? No, alright. Alright, 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 alright. Get a lucky chant, because obviously we're gonna- Obviously crits are, are a problem if we land a crit on you, you know, having 1 HP. Either way, let's keep this up with the timer ball. Come on, Nesprit. Stay in the ball, please? No? Okay. Extra sensory because that's gonna do so much damage to us. We're gonna take this future side damage, which will hurt very little. That said, all I can do is keep these timer balls because really not much else I can do. Alright, come on, Nesbert. Stay in the ball, please. Alright, timer balls are clearly not doing the job. Clearly it's not quite doing enough. So let's try something else. I'm gonna go back with dust balls because. I don't know what else to do. It's at 1 HP, paralyzed, and, I mean, come on. Come on, Mesprit. What else can I possibly do? What else can I possibly do to make it easier to catch this thing? I mean, it's already, I can't do anything else to weaken it. I can't do any more damage to it. I can't give it any other status. Well, I guess I could technically, like, confuse it, but why would I do that? That would be stupid. Alright, so we're going to take more Future Sight damage, but it's not going to do nearly enough to make a difference here. So, I mean, I could go for a Fresh Water on Metagross just to get back health, but it's really kind of a moot point. So, this thing is going to continue to break out of these Pokeballs because... Because, I don't know, it doesn't like us. I don't know. That's, you know, I'm just going to go for a Pokeball. Because, screw it, we're going for a Pokeball. I bet you that thing breaks out, because there's no way this catches it. As I said. I know I'm wasting turns by going for Pokeballs, but I don't know what else to do. So Mesprit, please stay in the ball. Come on. Come on. Mesprit doesn't want to stay in that ball, what can I say? You're gonna charm us, but I don't feel very charmed. That said, let's try something else. Let's try... I gotta go for the Timer Ball again. It's been way too long. Timer Ball has to do something. If it doesn't, I'm gonna complain to the manufacturer of the Timer Ball that these were these don't work. Okay, so with that, we have actually caught Mesper with the Timer Ball. Clearly, this Timer Ball was not defective. And with that, Medic Rose is gonna grow to level 66. All right. Mesper's data is added to the Pokedex. It is the... Emotion Pokemon. The known as the being of emotion, it taught humans the nobility of sorrow, pain, and joy. Alright, Mesprit, I'm gonna give you a name, shall I? Alright, I'm gonna name you... Um... I'm gonna name you... Um... 
Mafe. So Mafe is gonna go to the PC in box one. All right. The capture power is gonna wear off now, but that is okay with me. We've pretty much done what we need to with that capture power. It was only a level one. It wasn't a level two capture power. So I mean, I can't really say I expected more um, to do more for us. So. But that said, it was still pretty good. It did definitely do what we needed it to do. So. Let's continue our... adventure throughout this place for Legendary Pokémon! Um, are there any other... Oh, we've been to Crescent Island. We already took care of Crass. Uh... Pathless Plains, no, it's it's still today. Um, we can head... I'd like to see if there's anything different in Trackless Forest, or do we have to wait, like, it, do I have to wait to wait till another day in order to, like, the next thing to appear? I'm not sure if we have to, how long we have to wait between two things at the same place, because it depends on what part of the hour that, well, as far as Raikou and Suicune. A blazing and strong presence is in the air. Okay, so clearly we were able to do this now again today. So, I would like to heal up. Just because it seems like the smart thing to do. And I'm definitely interested in doing what is smart, rather than what is dumb. Alright, so, do that, and we can put up another O power, I guess. We don't have another capture power from someone, but I think we can actually use the capture power level 2. So, there we go. Let's do this. Mysterious rain is floating in the air, something deep visible in the hole. Now, the problem we're going to have is, of course, that Metagross is, of course, weak to Entei Stab. But, here we go. Our best bet is to hold back until we can switch in into Muddy. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, with that, Entei appeared. All right, so Entei is going to show that pressure, which is okay with me. Let's go for... It's going to resist to Iron Head, but I would rather just go for the hold back, to be honest. Just to be on the safe side, just in case. Also, crits are a thing. Unless, of course, a lucky chant is up, but this is not mess crit. So, we're going to go for that hold back, and we get a... There's a crit, so yeah, I think I'm kind of happy that we went for the hold back there, as opposed to an Iron Head, even if that would have been resisted. The thing is, hold back won't bring it down to 1 HP at this point, because that was a crit there. Flamethrower is gonna hurt. That is gonna hurt. I think you would need a crit to KO at this point, Entei, so I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna leave in Metagross, go for one more. Fire Fang, we can live that easily, unless you crit. So it's physical, now I'm just gonna switch into Muddy. Now, I probably should have healed up Muddy before this battle, but I am not very smart. So, but Muddy can live a hit from Entei. Stomp is, okay, Swagger doesn't bother me. You can Swagger me all you want, but it doesn't bother me. Because Muddy is awesome. All right, that said, let's go for a, let's go for a Nest Ball. I really don't know what else to do. I mean, Netball would be good for something water or bug type, but there aren't too, too many of them. It could be useful for Suicune, I suppose. That's it. Can you stay in the ball, Ante? No, you're gonna break out of the nest ball. Alright, would've been way too easy that way anyway. So now, Muddy is gonna be at plus four attack. <laughs> or is it plus two attack? I'm, I'm not positive. I think Swagger... I thought Swagger did plus, did plus two, and that's two Swaggers. Alright, but it doesn't really make a difference anyway, because I'm not gonna attack Ante for anything to begin with. So unless the Fire Fang burns, I mean, I really don't care too much, but it does. Well, to Muddy, that is. As long as it doesn't crit or burn, I'm happy. So, let's keep this up. Let's go with Ultra Balls this time. I mean, I don't know what else to do against this thing, or for this thing, should I say. It's not really against. We're trying to catch We're trying to get this to join us. Come on, Entei. Okay, Entei is going to break out. That's, that's... We're going to avoid the attack, not that makes too big a difference. That said, let's just keep up the Ultra Balls until I feel like it's safe to go for Timer Balls. 
until, until you're gonna break out, go for a fire fang, don't burn us, and we're okay. Let's just keep up these Ultra Balls for now. Until I have, let's say, I'll go for three more Ultra Balls, and then I'll try going for Timer Balls. Come on, Entei. Stay in the ball. Whatever, you're gonna go for another Swagger Snail? I think, I think Muggy's at plus six. Yeah, so it does plus two. Alright, so... Muddy's at plus six attack, so I don't think it can increase our attack anymore anyway. That said, Entei, can you stay in the ball, please? Come on. Come on, you can't swagger us anymore. Well, you can, but it's not gonna do anything. Flamethrower's gonna hurt a little bit as long as you don't burn. You know what, just in case of some kind of a weird crit. I'm just gonna go for a Lemonade at this point. It's not gonna bring up the full health, but it'll be close enough that Muddy won't have to worry about health, to be honest, because, I mean, we're at minus eight now. Of course, Flamethrower's gonna hurt a little bit, just don't burn, we're okay. Alright, so you know what, let's go for another Ultra Ball. Last Ultra Ball I'm gonna go for, then I think I'm just gonna go for Timer Balls, because it's definitely been ten turns now. Come on, Entei, stay in the ball, please, please stay in the ball, stay in the ball, stay in the ball! Alright. That's with the plus two ca well, the level two capture power up. So, this is kind of a, uh... These legendary Pokémon are not easy to catch! But, we're trying. It's gonna break out a timer ball. I feel like every single first timer ball has failed. But whatever. We can keep this up, though. We have 15 turns to catch this thing, I think. With timer balls. Or 15 timer balls, should I say. Come on, Entei, stay in the ball, please, 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 please. There we go! Once again, the second timer ball is going to do the job. So with that, we have obtained Entei. Good job, Muddy. All right, and Muddy is going to go to level 66. Okay, Muddy, good job. You deserve that level. So Entei's data was added to the Pokedex. All right. So, the Volcano Pokémon, Entei embodies the passion of magma. This Pokémon is thought to have been born in the eruption of a volcano. It sends up massive bursts of fire that utterly consume all that they touch. This is one awesome Pokémon. That's it, let's give Entei a nickname, shall we? So, I'll name you... Uh... Volk. So, a little like Volcano, only the cane instead of a C, so Volk is going to go to the PC. Capture power, we're off. We received another capture power, though. Are there any other legendary Pokemon we can go after right now? I can't think of any. So the capture power we just got isn't going to help us, but... Because I don't think we can... I don't think there's anywhere else we can go for legendaries right this second. Because it would take us, I think, a few minutes in order to take care of stuff. But, we can head to, uh, you know what, let's go to the mall. I'm gonna go to Mallville for now. I'm gonna just, uh, heal up, put rain in the PC, and I guess, I don't know. I'll put rain in the PC and I'll get something out. For now, I'll take out Galleed. Alright. So, Rain, we're not done with you yet. Don't worry, you, you still have a job. So, we do have Ryan and Volk. We have Vertilop, and we have Mafe. I am, of course, still going to need Rain, so that doesn't really change anything there. However, we can... How many... How, how many O-Power things do we have before we can go for another O-Power? Because I'm pretty sure right now that Capture Power is going to wear off before we can do anything. 
We can use a level one, but unfortunately we can't use that capture power that we just got because we're not going to have enough time to take care of anything. Which is unfortunate, but what can you do? Besides, I think it's already been kind of a while. We already took care of a bunch of legendary Pokemon today. We already got... When, no, we got four legendary Pokemon, which, I mean... I guess we could do more, but for now I think that's enough for one day. Adamant's a pretty good nature for Raikou, I gotta say. Especially with that moveset. Docile, nice neutral nature, I guess, for Antae. Bashful, nice and neutral, I suppose, for Vertilop. And I don't think Gentle... I don't know. Gentle is okay, I guess, for Maeve. It's okay. So. I guess then that in that case, let's go heal up. We're gonna lose that capture power, but I'm not too concerned about losing a level one capture power. Maybe it'll help us, maybe it won't. Who really knows? But I mean I'm I'm not gonna complain. I would like to buy more balls. So perhaps that's something we should consider. So I'm gonna head to Rustboro, I think. Should we go Rustboro or Falerbur? Hmm. I want Timer Balls, and I want Dusk Balls. Wrong way, I want to go this way, toward Rust Barrow. This way we'll have a chance to... I don't know. Buy Timer Balls. So the Capture Power is going to wear off. I mean, I didn't expect to be able to use that Capture Power. But it was really kind of um, someone to give us that. Especially if we're going after legendary Pokemon. So. I could actually just wait until another capture power is possible, but I don't want to, I need to extend this episode longer than you guys want to sit there. I'm going to go for a bargain power. So let's buy some cheaper timer balls. Also, I'm going to buy some net balls, just because Suicune is out there, waiting for us, I guess. I also do want to sell... ...some of those nuggets. So let's sell three of these. Make some money. Also, how much... How many big nuggets do we have? I don't see our big nuggets. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Okay, big nuggets. Let's sell three of them. So now we'll have some money. All right. Now let's head to Fowerbur so we can get some dust balls for a cheaper price. Or a reduced price, should I say. This is only bargain power level one, of course. Level two and three would be kind of nice, I guess, but whatever. All I can deal with is what I have, so what can I say? That said, let's land. Hopefully we're within three minutes still and can continue this. Unfortunately, we do have to race against the clock when it comes to O powers. Or at least using them. But they're still useful. So let's buy some Dusk Balls. We also get a Premier Ball. I'm afraid of getting Quick Balls, to be honest, because they're really only going to help us a little bit. Dive Balls, I can't imagine us needing to use right now. $180 Pokeballs. It's actually a little bit tempting. I'm gonna buy some Max Repels while they're at a low price. 
Um, Paralyzed Heal, we just used our only one, and they're pretty cheap right now. Might as well get these while they're cheap. Because you never know when you're going to need them. So, let's go buy up on stuff while, while it's on sale. So, Hyper Potions, let's... That's a little bit much, but let's buy like five of them, I guess. I don't think we need any full restorers. We can probably sell revives. So let's sell the revive. Max revive, I mean, we don't need it, but whatever. So bargain power off, that's okay. That is fine with me, it did its job. So, I guess then what's left is to go after more legendary Pokemon next time. So, I think Metagross has been doing a good job so far as far as getting legendary Pokemon to, well, down in HP to one, thanks to that hold back. And perhaps we'll have a chance to get some more legendary Pokemon next time. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time as we continue looking for more legendary Pokemon. Goodbye.